fucking face. Uh, get that one. That one hits him in the uh, buttocks that Mickey Babuda himself has created. Brandon, how do you feel about that loss to Antonio? You know, it's all right. If you love to me like that. <laughs> Brandon's rage. Rage a little Brandon, oh my god. <laughs> Brandon comes in. How do you feel about this loss? <laughs> Uh, dear God, I just want to thank you for this day and thank you uh, that we have a chance to just uh, play this game for Brandon. I just want to um, pray first for the family um, and every everyone who's being hurt by this and just, just help us have some fun and uh, do what Brandon would want us to do on this day and, uh, and just be with us all the rest of the, the rest of this day and stay with the, with the family and everyone impacted by, by the tragedy. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Well said. Let's go, boys. Nice. Beautiful. Let's do it. Beautiful, beautiful. For BJ. Let's do it. Hey guys and welcome to Bomber Stadium. Um, we have a special game today. Um, a lot of you have probably seen on our social media that um, that our brother and our, our former teammate um, Brandon Johnson passed away a few months ago um, as a result of uh, his battle with leukemia. Um, we're going to be playing a game for him today um, in, in, re in honor of his life and all he meant to us. Um, I just gotta say personally from Brandon, he was one of the funniest guys I've ever met. He he was always so relaxed, and he he never took anything too seriously, and he, he made me laugh more than a lot of people. So um, so we're gonna be playing for him. Um, we have two two different uh, teams built today. We have a uh, team Brandon and team Johnson, and uh, we're gonna get a, a couple people pitching today, and everyone's gonna be hitting. So it's gonna um, we're we're gonna have a lot of fun and 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 uh, do what Brandon would want us to do. Make sure you uh, like, comment, and subscribe. One like equals one prayer for, for Brandon. Comment hashtag pray for BJ, hashtag play for BJ in your support of uh, Brandon Johnson and um, research for uh, leukemia um, throughout, throughout the world. We're about to interview some of the players who knew Brandon, and then we'll get to the game. And this is actually uh, Brandon's shirt. Nick, uh, Nick gave it to me um, uh, to use today. So I'll be wearing this today um, and playing. Everyone else will be playing. Uh, we'll be um, wearing orange in support of uh, leukemia research. Um, and thanks, guys, for watching. So I'm here with Marco. Uh, Marco um, was one of the people who knew Brandon for the longest time. What did Brandon mean to you, and uh, what, what are you feeling today? Uh, Brandon meant a lot to me. You know, he meant a lot to everyone, uh, to be honest. Um, he's always like a, he like lights up a room whenever he walks in it. You know, like Mike said earlier, he's one of the funniest guys I've ever met, as well. Um, Brandon was like a cousin to me. Uh, one of the closest people that I had, um, you know, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Do you have any uh, recent memories of, of things you did with Brandon? Uh, yeah, I mean, to be honest, Blitzball was always like one of our uh, our times that we used to hang out the most. Um, Brandon's been to my lake house a bunch of times. I remember uh, we flipped a jet ski once on my lake, uh, on one of the lakes at, um, up in my house, and we always joked about it ever since. It was like one of those things that always lingered on. It was one of those funny moments that we had. Awesome, thanks so much, Mark. Yep. Good luck in the game. Yep, thank you. All right, next I'm here with uh, Nick, another guy who knew uh, Brandon um, really well. Nick, uh, what did Brandon mean to you um, as a person, as a friend? I mean, a, a lot of people didn't know, Brandon actually lives right across the, like, the road. It's not even a road, it's a driveway. But Brandon and I were very close. We've, um, we've been childhood best friends for the longest of time. And Brandon and I have a lot of good memories because it was, Brandon and I, our friendship, was the friendship where you knock on your friend's door and go see if someone's home, you talk to their mom, you call them on their phone, like the house phone and stuff like that. So that was the relationship I had with Brandon. We saw each other, I would say, five of the seven days a week when we were in elementary school. I saw Brandon a lot, he mean a lot to me, and he was such a great kid. Do you have any uh, recent, recent memories of times you spent with Brandon? One memory that I n will never forget is when you were actually playing Brandon in the Blitzball playoffs. Uh -oh. And you actually had a walk-off home run against Brandon, and Brandon oh, smashed, yes. Brandon smashed the strike zone. We're gonna play that right now. Walk-off home run! 
my dear! Brandon's a rage. Rage a little, Brandon. Oh my god. That clip of Brandon smashed in the strike zone. But along with Marco, Brandon went to Marco's Lake House. I also have an upstate house um, that Brandon's family actually came to. But yeah, um, Brandon and I, our family's real close as long, uh, along with Marco's, and I've had a lot of great memories with him. Awesome. Thanks so much, Nick. Thank you, Michael. And uh, we're here with Mike Deal here. Uh, he knew also Brandon very well. Um, what did Brandon mean to you in, uh, in your life? Yeah. I mean, first of all, I, I said it before, but uh, Brandon was like probably one of the funniest guys I've ever met, and um, and he was he was someone someone I admire for not taking life too seriously because I think a lot of times people do take life too seriously, myself included. But he uh, he, he just always lightened up the room, like you said, and he he um, he was just a fun person to play with. And do you have any any memories with Brandon in terms of blitzball or any funny moments? I I can't remember anything specifically, but but junior year junior year was tough in high school, I'll admit. Mm -hmm. And he, we had chemistry and uh, and algebra two together, and he was just hilarious in those classes. Oh, yeah. I I struggled through those ones, but he he made it a lot better. And also playing uh, baseball with him, and always just making making the team feel um, feel a lot more lighter. So awesome! Thank you very much, Mike. Thanks, Mark. And we're here with Megley Mason, Mike Mason. What did Brandon mean to you as a as a person in your life? He was just a really nice kid. I didn't see him too much, but I saw him for blitzball a lot, like 2014. Well, I was young kid, ball boy. Pre-league, pre -league, right? When yeah. you, before you were a rookie, that's nice. Yeah. And you have any funny moments of Brandon on the blitzball field? Anything you remember? Oh, well, I always remember his dog always running onto the field during blitzball games. Yeah. The most recent memory I have of him, in, half of him, is uh, our, na our neighbor's part. We had a party at my neighbor's house, and me and uh, Nick were over there. We were talking to him. We just talked about Fortnite. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Thank you very much, Megley. And we're here with number 34, Josh, also known as Squasher. Squasher, Josh, what did Brandon mean to you as a person in your life? Uh, Brandon was a pretty good friend. Uh, like Nick said, he was always around. Uh, ever since I know Nick, I knew Brandon, and he was always a jokester, never took anything too seriously, always playing around. Really funny guy, and we're all going to miss him. And do you have any memories of Brandon on the blitzball field or anything else in uh, high school or anything? Uh, not very recent, but I remember we had a sleepover at Nick's house, and his mom made these cupcakes, and, <laughs> and they all made us uh, really sick, uh -huh. and everyone was just farting all night, and he, just, <laughs> he kept making all these fart jokes and farting. There so, you go. All right, really, thank you very much, thank Squasher. You. We're good. Yeah. No, Let's go, John. 80%, you know. There's no hey, coaches here. One out. Be strong. Floated to hold the powers oh of the sun. <laughs> and we're down already. <laughs> and he's round the bases. Oh, so hey, Look at D for the D and Diesel. Oh! oh. <laughs> okay. Like a shell in open field. Only one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Two. Got him. End of the inning. Use. Get out, boy! Get out! 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 Get Oh. <laughs> it's the first time of today. 
go first, go one, go one. Washer is a little disappointed. Oh! Could it go? One me. out. <laughs> You're out. What? I guess it's a little ball. What? Ah! Got him! Oh, yeah. Cool game move. Alright, we're ready. Dude, that was a high and you hit it down. I'm doing a real job. Get it? Get it! 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 Get it!